When you go to a place like Yellowstone or Grand Tetons, it's easy to see the big uh, fauna, the grizzly bears, the elk, but um, bringing attention to the microfauna and how it's linked to the bigger picture is, I think, something that I personally notice and I'm drawn to and I want to share that with others. So uh, this past summer we went to Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming um, studying Parnassus butterflies which are these um, kind of obscure medium-sized white alpine butterflies that live in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem but what's so cool about this butterfly is that it exists all over the world in alpine habitat and so it's this global indicator of what's happening. So much is happening um, in our uh, environment at a rapid pace and so uh, part of my focus in this, in this project is to really show the public about how this um, species is a bioindicator for climate change and alpine environments are, are environments that are especially susceptible to this rapid change. One of the most exciting ways that I can work at the intersection of science and art is to bring to light uh, unique species in the environment and uh, the range of biodiversity that we're surrounded by. And so we're hoping to create an entire educational package that will be ready by the end of next summer to showcase how this species is um, being threatened and having to respond to all of these more erratic variables. And to notice something small in the environment and then uh, take uh, an active role in making a difference. And so we want them to engage in conservation and, um, and be a protector of the species and value the, the parks and the habitat that it resides in.